JIB show and this is episode three of season one. I hope you've been having fun so far. Thank you for your messages. So today we're going to talk about shame. Mm -hmm. Shame and how shame affects the older woman. Now, the female experience is full of shame. I used to say that from the top of your head to the sole of your feet is shame, 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 shame. It's so easy for society to shame women. So easy, right? Especially when you're older. There are all kinds of rules that society, people, even your family, your friends, everyone who claim to care about you, they all come out with reasons why you should not do this, why you should not do that. And they are all part of the culture of shame. So I'm going to talk about being an older woman and getting read, completely read of shame. I used to say that I'm shameless. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> you know what we say? When we say that, we mean that literally we have control over our lives, that we know what we want. We know how to pattern our lives to favor us. We search for happiness. We look for happiness. We, we grow our dreams and we do that legally without any crime or without, but of course we have to rattle society and all of that. So if you are going to strive as a woman in a society like ours, you need to address shame. It will stop you. Trust me. Because anything can be used to shame a woman. Anything. Like we always say, for men, it's, just, it's usually just money because oh, he's broke, right? That's shame. And then probably the size of his penis, right? But for women, everything can be used to shame a woman. Everything. It could be from your head to your eyes to your weight to the shape of your lips, to your neck, to your hand, to your legs. It's, it's crazy. So whilst I was young, when I was young, I, 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 I started to understand society through my aunts and my mom. And I see how much I feel like they should have lived. I, personally, I think my mom should have had a more amazing and more colorful life. But she was too careful about shame about people saying stuff about her, about people to, and she's a really cool person. She's a good person. She didn't do anything wrong, but I wanted her to have a more colorful life, to date more, to travel more, to go out more, you know, and all of that. And she resisted it from beginning of time till the, I, I literally, I started to talk to my mom when she was in her thirties. Now she's in her seventies. So there's an entire span of 40 years where she didn't exactly do anything. She literally went from home to her shop every day for 40 years and nothing else. I am not kidding. So when I look at her life and I tell myself, I love this woman so dearly, but I am not going to live that life. I am going to travel. I'm going to fall in love and fall out of love. I'm going to, I'm going to do everything that I want to do. So that is the entire concept of being a bad bitch because it's actually a positive thing. It's something that women uh, certain types of women would um, heal themselves because all we're trying to do is we are being unconventional, we are being intentional about our lives and we're not letting society dictate to us how to live, what to do, who to be with and all of that. Now, if an older woman and you're out of a marriage, for instance, I mean, you have the experiences, even if it's not your experience, you have an aunt, you have a cousin who is divorced and she literally just went into a shell and she's careful not to you know, rattle anything so that people will not shame her. You see, so people, a lot of people probably, a lot of women are afraid of the shame. So they even stay in situations. I'm not just particular about marriage now because I'm not trying to get at you guys. I'm just saying that for a lot of women, older women, when they leave marriages or they leave certain partnerships or friendships, they are shamed. So the, the thought of leaving doesn't even cross their mind. They would rather just stay there and suffer because vis-a-vis -vis the shame, they believe that, oh, I'd rather just stay and have a mediocre life than deal with the shame that society is going to throw at me. So we are different. We say we, would, we will confront the shame. We will shame the shame, right? So if you try us, we will shame you. So we are shameless. And in that context of shamelessness, as an older woman, you're able to just live your life. Do you understand? Like you're able to just live your life. You're able to travel you're able to date who you want to be, date your like women i remember when i was young i know i'm really rushing this topic because it's very dear to me how women cannot even talk about sex and everyone is just fronting you like you're not having sex you're, you're having sex 
we saw that guy go in and go out of your house you know but everything is wrapped in in shame so they do it they try to do it privately they try to deny who they are and imagine living your whole life being somebody else all the things that you want for yourself all the things that you crave for all the things you want to do you want to wear you want to say you want to go to you can't do any of these things because ultimately you're afraid that some random is going to come and call you names right so those are the things that i feel like if you're an older woman you have seen age pass you by right maybe a 20 something year old woman might not understand it now but you as a 40 year old 43 45 48 year old woman you have literally seen life pass you have if you if you if you if you have seen life pass you know that time waits for no one so what are you going to do with the life that you have now saying that you have literally just seen 20 years of your life move by without exactly doing anything like i said i i saw my mom 40 years of her life just moving from her house to her shop if that's the life you want that's fine but if you want more the first thing you will do as a woman is confront shame the shame that society will throw at you it will come so start to prepare yourself on how you would attack and confront that shame as an older woman you're going to be shamed if you don't have kids I don't have that experience because I have two girls, but I do know a lot of women who are older and because they don't have kids, they don't have, they don't allow them to speak in certain, in certain places, maybe even in the family. Um, if you're an older woman and you are not in a marriage, people will shame you because you are dating. Literally, they will shame you if you walk into a five-star. I'm not even talking about brothel. Nobody goes to brothel, yo. Even if you walk into a five-star hotel, you, there is still that shame lingering in the air because... People are going to question. There's so many things that you, you can't even wear certain clothes. I, I always say this, right? I'm very particular about clothes. I will never judge a woman who dresses a certain way. I have never judged a woman who wants to show her boobies or whatever. I just like being covered up because I, I just like it. It's a preference. But if I didn't like it, you best believe that I will show my boobies. <laughs> So I don't think that women should be shamed. Anything you want to do, as long as this is not illegal, you should do it. This is a secular society. Forget what is happening by the corner. It is actually a secular society. You should be allowed to live the way you want to live, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. So I would advise women, especially older women, wherever you are, wherever you find yourself right now in your situation, maybe in a marriage or out of it, Maybe with children or without kids, maybe with whatever your situation is, you need to sit down right now and start to confront shame in advance. What people would say is like chess. You always have to learn. I literally learned chess because I was told that if you know how to play chess, you will know how to confront life. And I understand now what they mean. Like you literally have to checkmate. Every single, every single situation that comes your way, you have to learn how to win at it. Shame is the biggest factor that will stop you. And this also, this also applies to younger women. You start to learn now how to address shame so that when you grow older, you'll be able to have a life that is yours. And it doesn't matter. It wouldn't matter what anybody says. You would have exactly what you want because it is not a crime. And you're not doing anything illegal. So if you want to see what a shameless woman looks like, voila! <laughs> I have rid myself of shame. I do anything I want to do. I, I go wherever I want to go. I wear whatever I want to wear. And one big factor, I'm going to round up with this, that I have noticed, one big factor I've noticed with older women, and some of them have approached me, and they're like, what will my kids say? Now, my mother used to say that. I remember I wanted her to date because she left my mom, my father in her 30s. And I was I was like 11. And I really thought she should just date and have fun. I remember the first time an, a, a man asked her out. I think it was a younger man. And she cried. I'm like, yo, why are you crying? And even when I was young, I actually thought it was ridiculous. And I still think so. But, you know, that's her. That's their era. 
right? So I remember when we talk about it, she'd be like, what would, what, what would, what, how would I feel if people call her certain names? And she's like, I don't, I won't feel anyhow, you see? So you have to start to have that conversation with your kids. I have two girls and they're teenagers. And I always tell them, listen, you know who I am. You know what I, you know what I do. I, I, I am a script writer. I, I'm an artist. Not, no other narrative is true. I am a rebellious woman. So you have a rebellious mother. You have an unconventional mother. You have a mother that runs with new knowledge. There's so many things you're going to learn about women like me that you would have to, you would have to deliberately learn about them and not what pe- what you hear. Because what you hear is said out of fear, envy, or ignorance. I am the example that you have to, if you want to understand me, you, you look at my life and see everything that I have done and everything that I continue to do and see how happy I am living the life that I want. So you have to start to have that conversation with your kids. Everything that you stand for as an unconventional woman, you have to start having that conversation with your kids so that they don't believe that instead that you are, you are too much to handle or you are, or it's hard for people to understand you and it affects their life. It has nothing to do with them. They can go ahead and create their life while you live your authentic life as an older woman living unconventionally. So start to deal with shame today. I really want to know what women have to say about shame, both young and old. So drop your comments. I will respond. If you have any questions, you can always drop it. I can attend to it. And I'm wishing you all the best because we can't let shame stop us from living our best lives. I'll see you next week. Bye.